I'd like to recap our 2012 year at the Gary Chamber. We were very excited and proud of our accomplishments. Uh, uh, we had a tremendous list of monthly luncheon speakers. Uh, we had notables. We had people come in from in-state, out-of-state. Uh, we had speakers from Indianapolis. Uh, we had people like Jesse Jackson. Uh, we had uh, Illinois legislators come in and talk about smoking bans and different things. And so uh, we're very proud of what happened with our monthly luncheon speakers. It was also a good year for our chamber in that uh, we were able to retain, maintain, and even attract some new businesses. One of the highlights was uh, we had this company, ProMet, come in from Chicago, a $100 million company. Uh, in partnership with Arsenal Middle Steel, and uh, they opened offices in Gary. They contacted us and asked about the possibilities coming into Gary, and so we were able to affect those kinds of changes. Uh, there was the reopening of the Beach Cafe in Miller, a landmark restaurant. Had been closed for several years. Uh, some folks came in and, and took the chance to reopen it open it uh, sort of in its own uh, original image. And so the chamber was able to go out there and give a very fashionable uh, grand opening and ribbon cutting for them. Uh, that has certainly helped to sustain that business. Uh, if you look later into the year, I think we're very proud of the fact that our board of directors have really engaged themselves in the chamber. Uh, we forged a relationship with the city of Gary that's uh, likely unprecedented. Uh, we, I would dare say that prior to uh, the last couple of years, uh, most chamber members would not have even known who the economic development people were for the city of Gary. Now we meet with these people regularly. They're very familiar with us. Uh, we've been able to forge a partnership, a relationship with the city of Gary that has served not just the city of Gary and the chamber, but has served the community so well. Uh, when we talk about uh, inclusion, we talk about collaboration, cooperation, uh, I think what we've been able to do with the mayor and with the city of Gary has uh, done more to personify that than any of the rhetoric that we hear or any of the other uh, affirmations of regional cooperation. So we're very proud of that. Uh, in terms of our profile, we've uh, been able to really elevate our chamber profile, and I think it's gratifying, it's been encouraging to me, and also to our board of directors, the fact that we've been recognized nationally, we've been recognized all over the state, and I say that to say this, uh, when the famous uh, Jackson family, Catherine Jackson, the matriarch of the Jackson family, and Michael Jackson's three kids chose to come to Gary in order to have a, a, a benefit to feed uh, Michael Jackson's birthday, they contacted the chamber and asked if we would be able to put something together commensurate with the uh, talent and the legacy of Michael Jackson. We were very happy to do that, and we worked with the city and surrounding areas, and we were able to pull that off. Uh, as a result also of that, we were contacted by the family of, of Gabrielle Gabby Douglas, the history-making two-time Olympic gold medal winner. We were contacted by her family, and similar to the Jackson situation, we were asked if we could host uh, a reception for Gabrielle because uh, my, much of her family is from Gary in northwest Indiana. And again, the Gary Chamber was contacted in order to do that. And that, uh, by all accounts, was a very successful event and activity. Uh, you know, I can harken back even to, well, just recently, uh, I would be remiss to not mention the fact that the Gary Chamber of Commerce was contacted by our newly elected governor, Governor Mike Pence. His office called and said that the governor would like to make a major message to a large group of people in northwest Indiana, and would you be willing to host it? Of course, we accepted that invitation, and uh, 
the reaction that we got from the public and from the governor's people was that uh, it was one of his more profound appearances and uh, we were really lauded in terms of how we went about uh, presenting to governor, the new governor to Northwest Indiana. And so uh, when we look at the success of the Gary Chamber of Commerce in 2012, I think we can be as proud as any organization. Uh, I, I think that it's not just self-serving, it's not just me speaking, but I think in terms of what we've been able to do and what has been documented uh, certainly sets us uh, up as, as one of the preeminent, if not the preeminent, chamber in, in northwest Indiana.